Yeah, I'm loving the one I'm with. You people, good morning. How are you? I'm Danley Williams on 92.5 KOMA Radio. This is my last day of regular work. I'm going to retire. And I'll tell you who I'm going to miss as much as anybody in the world, my lovely partner, Lisa Sides. Good morning. Good morning. How I are you? I wore a celebratory shirt just for you. Oh, party like a rock star. All That's right. right. That's right. We're going to have a party today. You really look good today. God. Well, so do you. It's amazing. It's a shame we can't look like this every day. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is this is my last regular day here at Come On. I feel kind of ambivalent today. I wonder why I'm Well, going. you know, I kind of had my cry in the shower this morning. I decided well, I could oh, do that. Oh, did you really? Well, yeah. I, I got kind of emotional, but... Uh, it, you know, it wasn't because you're retiring, Danny. It was because now on Monday I have no one to blame my mistakes on. Oh, you don't make any mistakes. <laughs> hey, you got... No, 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 no. Let it's me tell you what. You got the greatest program director that I've ever worked with here this sweet. morning. Thank his, you. Na- his name is Kent Johnson. He's been here all week. He has worked his buns off. How I can ever repay him for this week and this tribute, I don't know how I ever will do that. And all the people here at KOMA, I'm going to miss everybody. We got some really special guests today, people. Uh, Vance Harrison Jr. is supposed to be here today, who was a guy who brought me back to Oklahoma City. Mary Hart, my old co-host on Danny's Day, is supposed to call us this morning at some time. And guess what? The guy, money bags himself. The man who has so much money, Tony Rinda, owner of this radio station, is going to call today. Yeah, he wants to make sure you have, you know, he pays you. If you work today, he pays you. You know, okay. if you don't, if you're a no-show today, he was going to deduct that from the... Do you know how much money Tony Renda's got? Uh, well, I don't know. He's paid you quite a bit. I'm, well, you know. <laughs> the other day he wrote a check and the bank bounced. Now, let's get started, people, this morning with news with Ken Johnson. 92.5 KOMA, Oklahoma City. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm Danny Williams, along with Lisa Sachs. We've got a studio full of people today. Our boss, Kent Jones, is here like he's been here every week taking film. And if you haven't checked out our website about my last week here at Carol May, you've missed it. And he's put it here. Have you slept any this week, Kent? Sleep? What's that? <laughs> I finally had to share one of my secrets with him yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah, about 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon, we were all still here. He walked in and goes, how do you do it? What's your secret? And I hand him a packet of emergency, you know, the vitamin, yeah, uh, the mer- yeah. vitamin C I hand him all the uh-huh. time. And I said, here, take this. Right. So he did. Did it work? It worked. You know what? It right. is, that's some incredible stuff. It does give you some stamina. All right. <laughs> well, you've got more than anybody I know. But now, see, I had to share my secret. Mm-hmm. But you are really high this morning because you went where last night? I went to see the American Idol show last night. Was it any good? Oh, my goodness. I have never seen. I mean, that was fast pace it had all the top 10 i mean and david cook and little david archuleta is just about the cutest thing i have ever seen in my life no kidding and all the uh, i was the crowd was great until all of the teenagers started screaming at the top of their lungs oh did they now i know and remember what it was like to scream at the beatles and the monkeys and paul Revere and the raiders i understand you took archuleta home with you is that right Oh, no, I would have gone for Michael Johns or David okay. Cook. But, you know, my, my friend Kara went with me. My, my friend Kara went with Kara me. Rice, yeah. And Kara acted like a little schoolgirl. She was going, oh, 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 I just love Michael oh, Johns. That's I just cracked up. I mean, it was amazing, the age of the crowd. I mean, we're talking six years all the way up to, well, your age and past. <laughs> so you anyway. mean there were some 80-year-old people there? You know what? It is a variety. I think there was more people there than there were watching, you know, the Democratic Convention. Yeah, well... <laughs> I'm There's sure more it, voters, I know that. I'm sure it was much more interesting, for goodness <laughs> sake. Son of a gun. Well, I'm glad you got to go see the show. I did. I had a great time. Got well, home at about 11 o'clock, got three hours sleep. What the heck? Yeah. Boy, have we had some outstanding guests this week. We have. We've had some great people. Mary Fallon showed up. Yes. You got some kind of Con- congressional yes, medal, didn't congressional you? congressional <laughs> deal. I couldn't That's believe incredible. that. And hey, today, Kent Jones has permitted us to play some of my favorite songs that I've played here at KOMA Radio, uh, you know. Boy, he hasn't had much sleep, has he? Oh, he hasn't had any. Yeah. And you know what? We're live on Channel 9, too. Oh, I mean, uh-huh. they're, they're, foreca- they're forecasting. Hi, Robin. They're, bright- Hello. Oh, they're broadcasting their whole show this morning. <laughs> All right. And listen, by the way, uh, I want to tell you that today we're going to have something that a lot of people have missed. Kent Jones has given us permission to have a mini flashpoint this morning with Burns Hargis and Mike Turpin. 
and that ought to be a lot. Oh of wow, that's very cool. Oh yeah, they called. They're gonna they're gonna be on today, and we've got a lot of other special guests today. Doctor Bob Blackburn of the Oklahoma Historical Society wow, is cool. going to be here today, and uh, <clears throat> I don't know, no telling who will come. And if we get calls like we've been getting all week, the phone will never stop ringing. Well. There are so many people out there that have been with you all your life and all your career. Yeah, I, I mean, know. we could have phone calls for the next century, and you wouldn't have enough phone it's, calls to take care of everybody so, who wanted to say so goodbye. It's been so nice, too, hasn't it? Yeah, it I really guess, has. I guess when you say, I love you, pass it on, I guess it eventually comes back. Oh, yeah, it's coming back it tenfold. Is, oh, yeah, it's coming <laughs> back unbelievable. Okay, now today, when I first came back to KOMA Radio, thank goodness, in June of 1992... The first record I ever played on this radio station. I'm going to play it for you right now because it'll get you up and get you going. George, hit it. I feel tears welling up, calling deep inside like my heart. Hold on, I'm going to the street, people. Today is my last day here at KOMA Radio. I cannot believe it. I've had so much fun here for 16 years. And this is 92.5 KOMA Radio. It is Oklahoma's number one radio station. And it'll probably be even a bigger station after I leave because guess who's going to fill in for me for the rest of her life? Lisa Sykes. For the rest of my life? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. You know, let's see. Wait a minute. How old am I now? Well, I don't know. Don't tell anybody. I'm, I'm young enough to, I've still got uh, 30 more years if I'm going to keep up. Oh. 30 more years. Kent, can you stand me 30 more years? <laughs> God. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's really seriously. Because you're 81 and up. Well, I hit that magic age, but well, I'm you have you such like, good experience to pass along. Age. You don't look your age. Well, that's Say thanks that to sure. people like Victoria Johnson at Laser <laughs> Lights King Clinic. <laughs> you know, we have such the ability with technology now to hide all those wrinkles. Uh, in the 16 or nine years we've been together, what was your highlight? You know? Oh, wow, Danny. You know what? Seriously? Um, it was a bad time in the in the United States, but the way you handled, um, you know, I wasn't with you at, when the Murrah bombing came, but when I right. saw you handle what happened with 9-11 um, and how you have to balance that unbelievable tragedy you and, know, still, and still do what you do. And I, I, I tell you what, I, I saw some of the most amazing moments that, you know, you could, you could take something that was just heart-wrenching and then you still have to do what we do, and that's, you know, service people and give them the information they need to make one, them feel good. I'm going to tell you one thing. The day that thing happened, the whole station took a junket to Las Vegas. And when I came back on Sunday, President Clinton was saying, it's time to heal. So when I came on the next Monday morning, I was trying to do some jokes, and people did not like that at well, all. Well, that was after the Murrah bombing, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah sure well, I wasn't was. with you then, but I tell you what, the 9-11 the sure gave me a new perspective on what it is that we do and how we have to do it. And you do it better than anybody. Golly. My head is so large, people, I'm going to have to buy a new house. K-O-M-A. And your Dodge. The best music. K-O-M-A. Danny and Lisa at 10 minutes until 6 o'clock. Current temperature reading in the city this morning, if I can read the computer, which why not get me some more glasses. It's 77 degrees, and we're looking for a high today of around 91. <laughs>